This is Dio, the autonomous Arduino controlled robot. Up front he has a parallax ping sensor which uses sonar to calculate the distance that he is from an object. He's mounted on top of a standard hobby servo so his head can move left to right to see what is in front of him and around him and decide which path is the clearest. He's on a tank base that I got from Tamiya, or no, I got it from Pololu.com, and inside is the chokes, the motor, and the capacitor, and to get rid of noise from the, you know, motors making noise. It uses a 9.6 volt uh, NICAD rechargeable battery that I got from Walmart for around $5 in the clearance aisle. An Adafruit motor shield to control the two DC motors independently. And underneath it is an Arduino Duo Melanova with an Atmega 328 microcontroller. Um, when powered, there's two separate power systems. Underneath the 9.6 volt is another just standard 9 volt to power the circuits and the Arduino. So we'll flip on the Arduino and then we'll flip on the... That's what he does to look around. When, when he gets within 15 inches of an object, he looks both ways. You can see that the flashing light means that the sonar is operating. Let's click on his motors now. He needs to get some bump sensors and some infrared sensors so he can see around the bottom of his body. Because the sonar has some trouble bouncing off some objects. If you've seen the other video of Diode, he looks 100% different because he had a completely homemade tank chassis that I built out of plexiglass and uh, used a Tamiya dual gearbox and a Tamiya trank trank or tank tread set. But when I was assembling the gearbox, one of the teeth broke on the gears and I super glued it back. Well. He took off driving full speed into a chair and stripped out his gears because the sonar didn't bounce back from the material. So up front I plan to mount two sharp distance detectors up here which are pretty much just bounce infrared light off of objects and then receive it and calculate the distance by that just like the sonar does. And anyway that's the Arduino controlled robot and it cost about, I think this one cost me $266 to build. And the next one I'm working with is going to be a full-sized scooter motor powered robot and it's going to be remote controlled through XB. So stay tuned.